Hey guys, Haxertech here for another video, and today we're going to be talking about all of the different tools that you can use to use for video conferencing or video call features, whether it's for your business and workplace, uh, or whether it's for personal use, especially in this time right now that's very challenging with COVID-19 making it even more important that we have the ability to communicate across the web. So let's go ahead and begin and look at some of those options. Okay, so the first one that we're going to look at here is actually going to be the one that you've probably never heard of. I think this is the one in the list that's probably going to be most obscure, but I wanted to start with something very simple but very interesting here. And this one is called a nano chat. Now, the things that I'm going to be covering in this video is basically just ways that um, if you're trying to find something for business and you want to be able to get on a call with someone and have a bridge, for example, that's what this tool is going to be for. Um, some other things we'll look at is video conferencing features, um, things that you can use just for private video chat, for example. Um, but this first one here, this is something you can use if you simply want to very quickly get a bridge to use with your team here. And so, for example, if I wanted to just go ahead and dial in and um, use a free bridge, there's actually no cost to use this at all. What I can do is I can go ahead and paste this number in here um, into my phone. I can go ahead and call it, which I'm going to do in my next tool that we're going to look at here just momentarily. Okay, so I've entered the number here. I'm going to go ahead and call it. Please enter your PIN number. Okay, I'm going to enter my PIN number now. Thank you. Joining the conference now. You are currently the only person in this conference. Okay, so you can hear the whole music. I'm going to hang up now. So what you would be able to use this tool for a nano chat is if you wanted to just open up a quick line, and this is something that's really, um, I think, useful, something that most people don't know about, because if you just wanted to open up a bridge, you don't want to have to sign up for service, you don't want to have to go in, register, create an account, you just want to quickly be able to get a bridge available for someone to use. This is fantastic. This is a tool that you can use where you can just um, basically click a button here, as you saw earlier, and it gives you a bridge to use. You can even tap in here to click and dial that uh, bridge if you want it as well. So it's very quick and very easy to use. Um, now, this doesn't give you any features like video conferencing. Obviously, it doesn't give you the ability to do screen share or anything like that. This is just if you want to talk by phone, and once a second person joins that call, you'll be able to use the bridge um, as long as you want. You can see that this particular information is available until April 26th. And this is a completely free service here. When you go in here and you click that option, it's immediately going to give you a completely different bridge. Um, and you just pass this information on to the people that you want to talk to, and you're good to go quick and easy way to get on the phone um, with a group of people and there's no additional fees or charges um, other than the fact of course these are not toll free numbers um, so if there was you know obviously a charge for long distance maybe but otherwise completely free option to get on a bridge and talk to someone so that's option number one is a nano chat and you can download that on the app store if you'd like or you can go to anonochat.com all of these uh, will be linked in the description. The second one, which we just looked at here earlier, is Google Hangouts. And Google Hangouts is one that probably most of you at this point uh, have heard of at some point, or maybe you've even used it at some point, but um, it's a great tool. It's still a great tool even today, um, despite the fact that it has been monetized a bit more. It's now um, you know available in a business capacity. Uh, they've always had this consumer version available, so if you wanted to go in here and make a video call or a phone call or to message someone you can certainly do that um, specifically especially if you wanted to use this for business purposes and you didn't have a license um, for the business version you can click on the video call feature here from hangouts all you need is a simple google account and once you go in here you can click on the invite people option and anyone who has a google account you can actually invite them you can see i've already initiated this call 
And now what I've done here is I've opened it up so that anyone that wants to join, um, they'll be able to hear me speaking, but I can also turn on my webcam and we can see each other uh, and talk in that capacity. So if you don't need to share your screen um, or you don't need to you know, do like a file share or anything like that, um, I don't believe, yeah, those features are not available. This is just simply for um, sending messages back and forth, the video chat and the audio chat portion. Um, so this is a great free option if you wanted to communicate with a team of people and you guys don't have um, an existing subscription to a service um, that would allow you to do those different things. So it's very quick, very easy, and people usually have Google accounts already available. If they do, um, then again, all you have to do is come in here and invite their Gmail address. Uh, and they'll be able to very easily join this Hangouts call. So for people who are maybe working and not used to having to do this, they're used to um, sort of an on-site environment, uh, it's a good quick way to be able to communicate with your team um, if you don't have licenses for other products like Teams um, and other services like that. The next one we're going to look at here is Zoom. And Zoom is actually probably the most fully featured option here if it's completely free um, with the basic version here um, which is actually I think the reason why it has skyrocketed to the very top of the list of apps um, in the Play Store if you were to look at the top of the Play Store right now um, one of the top free applications right now is Zoom and the reason for that with COVID-19 um, obviously being a major problem right now spreading across the globe this is something that offers you really all the features of a paid plan with a few caveats. Now you can see here, I'm logged into a free version of my Zoom account here. I'm not paying for anything. And I have the ability to schedule a new meeting. And in here I can go ahead and customize all the things that you would like to set up. So I can give it a title here. I can um, designate when I want the meeting to be. Uh, the duration of the meeting, um, I can set the time zone and, and different factors like that, um, whether or not I want to automatically generate the meeting ID or if I want to use my personal ID, which I can just uh, initiate this at any time if I want to open up a meeting. Um, so there's a lot of different fine-tuned kinds of things that you can set up here um, when you're doing this. Or again, if I want to just go ahead and host a meeting, um, I can just go ahead and start that from here as well. So for example, if I don't want to schedule it, I'll just go ahead and schedule one to show you how it works here. So we'll just leave this at the defaults and click on save. And then once I've scheduled that meeting here, you can see at any time I can start the meeting. But if I want to, um, oh, and I guess before I move on from that, just another quick thing here, you can also add this to Google Calendar, uh, to Outlook or to a Yahoo Calendar as well. So that's super easy to do. Um, you have the join URL that you can provide to someone. So that way, if you even wanted to just IM, for example, this information to someone, then you can do that so that they have the information that they need to be able to join the meeting. Um, again, they can start it here, but if I want to just go ahead and host one very quickly and do that with um, video off, for example, I can go ahead and just start that. Okay, so you can see here that I have my meeting up, my Zoom meeting up, and there's a few uh, really useful things here. So I have my invitation URL. Again, I can send this to someone uh, if they want to join this meeting at any time. A couple other things that I can do here. Um, I have the ability to share my screen immediately with everyone. Um, I can invite people from here. Um, and then also I can go ahead and click on start video if I want to start sharing um, from my webcam here. I can record the meeting. Um, which is another useful feature that is generally not free with a lot of options. So the only real caveat of the free version of Zoom is the time limitation. And that's something that you know I think is very fair considering what you're getting with this. I would say that Zoom is probably the best option for full-fledged business kind of capabilities um, without having to pay any subscription fee or any purchase cost um, off the bat because what they give you with that free plan is just so feature rich um, that the only thing you're missing is again if you wanted to have a meeting that's a little bit longer than 40 minutes most meetings at least in my business are generally 30 minutes um, but if you wanted to have an hour-long meeting what you could do is you could simply book two separate meetings you could book a meeting for 30 minutes and then once that meeting um, exceeds the 30 minute mark you can jump over to the meeting um, that begins that next 30 minute slot so you can potentially have multiple meetings back to back 
with the same group of people, you might just have to jump between those meeting invites um, and you could have it for as long as you want. You just can't stay in the same location um, for more than 40 minutes consecutively. So that's just a little pro tip there. But um, again, other than the time limitation, there's not a lot of things that they really restrict. There's a few smaller features um, that you might find, you know, are obviously available in the pro version. And if you are a business that plans to use this very frequently, obviously that would probably be wise to pay for that subscription, and I'm sure your organization would do that. Um, but for just free features to use with your team, especially if this is something you're only using temporarily, maybe for COVID-19 or for whatever the case, the free features are very powerful and very useful. Okay, so the next one that we're going to be looking at here actually is another really interesting one. I take that back. So Anano Chat's probably not the only one here that you haven't seen. I think this is actually even more um, widely sort of unknown. This is one that I found after a lot of research that could be really useful for a lot of people, I think. And I just, I don't know why I haven't seen a lot of people using this, but it's actually a great alternative. Um, and again, Zoom is it's very widely known. Um, it's very trusted. Um, but if you're looking for something very quick to offer some similar features, this thing here called Jitsi, this service called Jitsi is actually really good. It's a multi-platform open source video conferencing service. Um, the thing that I think is probably best here is number one, that it's completely open source. So it's not something where you even have to pay any, any fees or anything. Um, and it gives you the ability to do video chat and a lot of similar things to some of the other services um, on the list here. You can see it's available on the web, Android, iOS, um, etc. And so all I have to do is literally just go to jitsi.org, click on start a call, and there is a Chrome extension that you can install, but if you don't want to, I can simply go here and click on go, and you can see it gives you a little bit of information, um, video chat with the whole team. It's fully encrypted. It's 100% open source um, for video conferencing, and it's completely free. You don't need an account, uh, again, here, which with Zoom, that's, again, another one of the, uh, not really a limitation, but just something that you might consider caveat. You do have to sign up if you're looking for something very quickly just to get on uh, with someone and you just want to use some of the similar features here. What I can do is click on Go, and you can see that at the top here, what I get is I get this unique URL here. You can see that it gives you just kind of a, a random combination of words. My invite is smart deputy, deputies differentiate around. Um, so we just put some random words in there. Basically, that's the unique URL, and it makes it easier just instead of a bunch of random characters. It uses actual words in there, but this becomes ultimately your uh, unique location here for the meeting. And in here, I've got some pretty powerful tools for something that's completely free. I have the ability to turn on my webcam here, so it's video chat. Um, and I think up to eight people at least, um, I believe... That might be the limitation, but you can have at least eight people in here, maybe more. Um, you have other similar controls to some of the other services. You can raise, lower your hand, so you can control who is and is not able to speak. You have a chat pane in here, and I can go ahead and just type in a name. Once I put in my name, I can go ahead and type in the chat here. I have the ability to share my screen, so you can use this with your business as you'd like. I can toggle the uh, the view here, share link and dial in information for this. So there's actually a full dial in, which is um, probably one of the, again, I think this is probably one of the most full featured things that I found here for giving you the ability to just get on a call with people um, or to dial in and to have the kinds of powerful features that most services do not um, offer for free. So you have a dial in bridge. Um, you can even add a password in here as well. So I can just put, um, you know, password in here. Once I do that, if someone was to actually access this link, I'm just going to kind of demonstrate here. So if someone was to receive the link and you've set a password, you can see here what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow that. I believe, actually, I take that back. I think that password was only for maybe the bridge. So let me just pop back over here. Ah, I did not set, set it, I think, is why. 
There we go. Okay, so once you set the password properly, I just didn't set the password. If I go back here and I go to a new tab, a private tab, and so let's just say someone receives the link that you've sent them. You want them to join your meeting. Okay, perfect. So here you can see that a password is required in order to um, get, kind of listen in and interact with this audience. Um, you'll just see that there is basically some kind of activity, but you won't be able to see, uh, I don't believe, who is on there. So what you would need to do is you would need to type in your password into this field here, click on OK, and then you'll be able to join the meeting. So it is very secure in that regard that um, if you want a password protected to make sure that no one's able to um, get in and listen to your call, especially if this is for a business and you're trying to keep things um, protected, you can password protect your meeting so that no one can join the call except for um, those that you authorize. So that's a great feature as well. Um, it's just really quite incredible, I think, the amount of features that are available um, in this completely free open source tool. It's my favorite option here um, by far, at least for the value. And um, I actually, I recently did use this um, maybe a few months back, um, so it, it wasn't too, too recent. A little while ago I had used this, and they've actually added so many more features here um, than what they used to have. They have the ability to start recording now, which is great. Um, so if you wanted to start recording, you can upload that directly to Dropbox, which is really nice. You can share a YouTube video in here. You can blur your background, similar to what you can do with Microsoft Teams. Um, you have stats available. Um, you can manage your video quality. So pretty much everything that you would want to do in a business uh, conferencing tool is available. But again, what is so nice about this, I think the, the standout features here is that it's open source. It's completely free. There isn't even a pricing model for this service and you don't even have to sign up or anything. You just basically go to the website, it's jitsi.org, which again will be um, linked in the description, and you're able to immediately start accessing all of these features. You can just send a link very quickly to one of your colleagues, or even if you wanted to use this for your friends uh, and family as well, if you wanted to get on a call with some people, um, then you could do that as well if you wanted to just use it for the purpose of, of talking to people. Um, or chatting with them and whatnot as well. So really a great option here um, for you guys and one that I think a lot of people do not know about. Next one here and, and a few of these other ones are going to be a little bit more limited, so I'm going to go through them a bit quicker, but I wanted to make sure that I covered all the different options that are out there. Um, again, with people right now looking to figure out ways to connect with people with COVID-19, um, impacting the world. It's definitely nice to have all these different options that are out there and um, certainly nice to be in a day and age where you can actually expect to find something without paying um, some kind of fee to use you know these kinds of basic features. So here we have Slack opened up and the reason I wanted to mention this one is because Slack is it's a very popular uh, very widely known tool um, across organizations so most people probably have heard of it at some point, especially now that they're public as well. Um, you know, you probably know what they do or you've heard of them in some capacity, but what most people don't know is that you can actually get a free account with Slack and you can create an entire organization for free with Slack um, and access many of the features that you would get with these paid plans. And it's unlimited as far as um, how many people that you can um, invite, I believe. I don't think there's any limitation on how many people can actually um, be a part of your free team, but the features are limited. The primary things that are limited with your free account is that you only can access um, the most recent 10,000 messages of your team. So if you have a very large organization and you're using the free plan, um, then you'll probably hit that limit very quickly and you'll start to lose messages. You won't be able to go back and find um, earlier messages. Um, they'll just be completely erased from the system. Um, it also limits uh, your calling as well. You can only do one-to-one -one voice and video calls between uh, teammates. So if you wanted to get on a call with a group of people, you won't be able to do that. So this would be really only useful if you... Um, we're only planning to do video or voice calls with a, a particular person um, on your team, for example. But if you wanted to have the features and capabilities of being able to chat uh, with the entire organization, if you're not worried about seeing the history, then you can certainly do that as well. 
Um, now there is uh, a video that I will put at the end of this video, you'll see the link to it, um, that you might want to watch if you're looking for an alternative to Slack that has similar features but is much cheaper um, in the long run. Um, I will make sure that that's available as well. Um, because there are some options outside of Slack that would give you what you maybe need, some similar things here, but, um, you know, this is obviously for those people who want to have specifically Slack and be able to use most of those features without having to pay a fee. So if you wanted to go this route, um, it's certainly available, and you can see the pricing model here does get a little bit pricey if you're actually looking to um, pay for those features, but um, it is an option for you. All right, so the next option here is Skype, and Skype, of course, another one that probably you've heard of at some point. Um, it's a very popular option for both private and business use, and it's mostly been phased out for the business component, um, but some people do still use it. Um, but for private use, uh, or really just kind of consumer-grade use, um, still a lot of people do use it to make video calls, to chat, uh, to make voice calls and things of that nature. And so if you guys are looking for a way to chat with family members or even if you wanted to use this um, as a temporary workaround to contact people um, from your organization, you can do that as well. Um, one to 24 people can get on a call. You can see you can get together with one or 24 of your friends on a video call. So you can use this for both personal or uh, business usage here. There's an app on Android, iOS. Uh, there's obviously a desktop app that you can use as well. And so a lot, again, similar features here. Um, you have the video calling capabilities, audio calling, um, chat. You can share attachments and pictures, uh, voice messages. Now, I believe on this version of Skype, uh, I don't believe you have the ability to do a screen share. I don't think you can, um, you definitely cannot record it, uh, or at least not built into the application. And so there are obviously restrictions on what you can use this for compared to some of the options that we talked about earlier on in this video. But even though there are some restrictions, if you don't need those features, if you don't need to be able to share your screen, if you don't need to be able to, um, you know, do, do some of those other different kinds of things, then this could be an option just to maybe talk to your team um, throughout the day. And especially another thing that could be a motivating feature to use Skype, um, at least as a free alternative here, is if you already have people that you know that use Skype, it could definitely be an option. Go through a couple other options here, a couple other things. Um, Discord. Um, you guys can certainly use that as well for communication. And so I'm kind of encompassing everything for in general communication, free communication tools um, that kind of allow you to do the widest range of different things. And so here, this option is uh, with Discord, giving you the ability to do video calls, you can do uh, audio calls, you can build teams and you can, um, or, or really just groups, where you can chat, you can almost use this as a full alternative to Slack, at least in some capacity. So Discord is a really useful tool if you don't know what Discord is. Um, Discord is something that uh, most people use for gaming. And I'll just take you to the main site here. It's free voice and text capabilities, but you can also do, again, video here um, is mentioned. I believe that's newer. Um, but it's a really, really great option for just a free alternative to some of these other services that are out there. It allows you to do some of those similar kinds of features. Uh, the one thing I don't think you can do, uh, I don't believe you can share your screen, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, they also do have some paid versions of their services as well, so depending on what your needs are. Um, but this is, again, just sort of a all-around um, kind of alternative to some of these other options on the list here if you want to communicate with whether it's family members, team members. Um, it's obviously great for gaming, but you can use it for other um, kinds of ways to communicate with other people as well. The next option here is Google Duo, and Google Duo is basically a um, alternative to, to Hangouts, but it kind of limits uh, and, and kind of narrows in the scope. So where Hangouts is more of a full um, 
full communication tool in the sense that, you know, if you want to talk to someone over messages uh, in a particular video chat or a particular chat, or if you want to call them uh, or video call them, you can do all of the above, whereas Google Duo is really a targeted service to do video chats. So you can do face-to-face -face chat with up to eight people. Um, again, if you're looking to just do video chat alone, that's why I wanted to put this on the list because you can use this for friends and family as well. But if you wanted to use this in your business as well um, to talk to other members, if you guys don't have an existing subscription to something, um, you could certainly use this. And again, um, all these Google products are tied to Google accounts. So if you have an existing Google account, you could certainly use this. Um, likewise, there's another service called Glide, which I've used before and tried, which really I think the standout feature with Glide is that it works on lower bandwidth uh, connections much better. So you can um, connect to a video chat here. Um, makes it really easy to um, get into contact with a group of people. And just like on the Google Duo service, it's kind of just an alternative to Google Duo. Um, you can get on with multiple people here and you can do a video call. Um, here you can just see some screenshots from tablets and uh, mobile devices where you can do that. You can do live videos um, and you can talk back from your smartwatch and, and things like that. So a lot of neat little features here, but again, this just like Duo is mostly um, a solution to be able to video chat with people for free, uh, either on a mobile device or on your um, desktop as well. I believe there is a desktop interface if I remember correctly here. Um, but definitely, you know, the, the focus here is the mobile application. And finally, the last thing that I just wanted to mention here as an option for you guys to communicate with, uh, either teams or family members, this one, I, I don't necessarily know most people would probably want to use this for business. So this would be more probably for personal use. Um, but I'm kind of encompassing everything into one video here. And so this is Facebook messenger. Um, most people probably know about Facebook Messenger and kind of some of the features here. Um, they have, over time, added a lot of features to Messenger, so it's a lot more powerful than it used to be. You now have um, calling capabilities, you can do video calls um, with more than one person, you can do, uh, you have a chat there, share files, so again, the main limitations here compared to, um, you know, some of the features of the business-oriented solutions. Uh, like, for example, the paid ones or with some limited free options, of course, would be like Zoom. Uh, Microsoft Teams, of course, does this, but they are only paid. There's not really a free version there. Slack, with their free and paid versions, have a lot of those um, business-oriented features like screen share and all that. So, again, Messenger is really more um, targeted for personal users. And so if this is something if you wanted to talk to again, you know, maybe, you know, your, your whole family or just a couple family members, this would be a great solution to be able to do all the video, um, text, and uh, audio chat kind of uh, capabilities here. Okay, so that's really all I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to just give you an idea of some of the options that are out there that are completely free. Um, I'll have the link in the description um, for all of these different tools so you can definitely check them out. Again, if I had to to give just some quick opinions there, I'd say that probably from this list for the business side, uh, both Zoom and Jitsi are amazing options um, to be able to to really just house a, a whole array of features, a whole suite of features without having to pay anything. And if you're concerned about the 40 minute limitation um, that Zoom does natively impose, I would say Jitsi is probably the best alternative option. It's really a, a fantastic solution, um, and I haven't found really very many cons, to be honest with it. So for uh, for business use, that's probably the best value um, in terms of a free option, and especially the fact that you don't have to sign up. Uh, and then, of course, for the uh, non-business-oriented kind of stuff here, um, I would say, honestly, if I had to look at the, uh, the entire selection of options here, just to do a video chat um, or general kind of communication, um, you know, I would say Facebook Messenger and Duo both are great at that. For the video calling alone, Duo is the most consistent video calling experience that I've used so far. So if you're doing video calls only, um, it's definitely the best, if you're just looking for the best quality, best overall experience, Messenger, on the other hand, is a great solution for personal use. 
um, in the sense that, you know, so many people have Messenger, it might be less of an inconvenience to try and use that with other family members who probably already have the app or they at least have a Facebook account. So that kind of takes the, the cake for convenience. And then there are, of course, many other options out there that give you kinds of similar features like Telegram and WhatsApp, which are great for general communication. Telegram, unfortunately, doesn't have a video calling capability. That is my favorite general messenger. Um, but there's a lot of other options out there where you can just generally communicate. Um, but here what I've shown is everything that kind of encompasses and incorporates both the messaging, um, video, and, and kind of chat elements here. So... Now before I go, that's that's all for this video in terms of content. Uh, I did just really quick want to mention a um, something here that I've been promoting uh, or that I'm going to be promoting. Um, again, I do not have a sponsor for any of my videos, um, so no one's paying for these videos or anything, but I do find products out there that offer kinds of promotions um, and that offer free things for people, and those are the kinds of things that I'm going to be promoting on my channel. Um, so if you guys use the link in my description or the links in my description to those different products, you will get something for free and you won't have to pay anything at all. Um, today, the one that I'm talking about is Webull. And Webull is basically a free platform that allows you to trade. They don't charge you anything for um, the trading at its basic level. Um, of course, you do have to pay money if you're going to be um, purchasing a stock. But if you sign up using the link in the description for Webull, um, then you're actually going to get two things. You'll get one free stock just for signing up, nothing else. You don't have to pay any money at all. If you choose to deposit even just a single dollar into your account, any amount of money at all, I believe you could even just deposit a few cents in there. If you deposit anything into your account and you've attached a bank account, you get a second stock completely free, and that's worth anywhere from 24 to I think $1,240 uh, or something in that range. So over $1,200 um, worth of stock potentially that you can get. Um, it's it's random, but you will get a second free stock. The first one, I believe, is only worth um, 10 to maybe $100-ish. Um, but you'll get two free stocks, depending on what you do, at least one without having to do anything or pay um, any fee. So please check that out. It's in the description. It's completely free for you guys. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. But other than that, again, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video.